is the sexiest diva at Eurovision this year? And who is the hottest guy? And which song has that catchy tune we can't get out of our heads? Based on the Eurovision concert in Amsterdam, here are my early predictions. Hello friends, especially all the new friends. This is my first vlog ever in English. My name is Mikko. I am Finland's Eurovision commentator 2017 and this is my personal YouTube channel. If you would like me to continue vlogging in English, please click subscribe below. That is so appreciated. If you would like me to return to Finnish in my vlogs, yeah, thumb down below. I get the message and that's okay too. So I went to Amsterdam to see Eurovision in concert. Thank you. It was a very good concert. It was so good to see the songs performed live for the first time. It is very different from the studio versions. Thank you. And now it is time for the commentator's special mentions based on the concert in Amsterdam. What surprised me and why? Let's start with the Sexiest Diva Award. And there are many to choose from, many divas on stage. But the one that I think you will like the most is Lindita from Albania. She's got the voice, the body, need I say more? And next, the most hit potential. And yes, I could say Sweden. Saying Sweden would be too easy. The song, the very, very little song that really started to grow on me after I heard it live was Germany's Perfect Life by Levina. And now the special award to the hottest guy. Yes, there is Love God and many other cute men as well on that stage. But the one that got the audience screaming the most for his looks was definitely Imri from Israel. And who had the best stage charisma? Uh, this is no longer in the studio, music videos don't matter. The one that really surprised me was Nathan from Austria. He really worked that audience more than anyone else. Hey now, if you push me down, I'll get up again. Hey now, hey now. And now for the catchiest tune. Yeah, we could say hey mama. Hey mama. But actually in Amsterdam, it was Hungary. This is the song that the audience was singing along to the most. Next, for the last special award, it goes for the voice. And there are so many great vocalists at Eurovision this year. And yes, I'm a little biased, but when Finland's Norma John got on that stage, everyone just went quiet. I mean, Blackbird is haunting. It's 
captivating. And Lena's voice. Oh. So please vote for Finland in May. We deserve a place in the final. But you know, enough for the silly awards. What was the coolest thing to see in Amsterdam was how the contestants were getting along and how much fun they had backstage. I mean, this is what Eurovision is really about. These were my personal thoughts and I'll probably change my mind many times before we actually see again in Kiev. But what do you think? Please comment below and let's start talking. And now, till we meet again, please remember to love yourself. Because as my idol RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Ciao!